Hey, we're here at the 500 Startups Demo Day in San Francisco at the Zynga offices, and we're with now. He's a co-founder at Tokyo Otaku Mode. Yeah, woo! So now, your presentation is absolutely fantabulous. Second time today that I second time that I've seen it was yesterday and today, and um, tell us about Tokyo Otaku Mode. Okay. Tokyo Otaku Mode is a curator on Facebook page with 5.4 million fans. So we curate from Tokyo every day. And so you, you said it's an anime, yeah. um, it's for anime fans. Yeah. Why do you think they're so crazy about anime? Because, you know, people really love anime, yeah. other than Japanese people. And also, globally, all the people are grown by Japanese animation. So people really like Japanese anime. Yeah. And then you, I saw that on your, um, on your presentation yeah. that 99% of your fan base mm -hmm. yeah. is outside of Japan. Right. Because we curate in English, not in Japanese. You know, but we just gather the contents in Japan and we translate from Japanese into English and we curate from Tokyo. That's why we have international people as fans. And you also said that your monetization model is, of course, advertising because you've reached the critical mass. Yeah. And then this sort of e-commerce component. Can you tell us a bit more about the e-commerce part? Okay. Um, we will launch web app. So we will send all the traffic from Facebook page into our web app. And after that, we will create a, a, a lot of page views on our web app. And there, we can sell the products such as like uh, figures or digital comics and so on. So people can easily buy on a web app, that's one click, which leads to the people to Amazon or games and selling products. You know what I think is interesting is a lot of people, even here who are demoing, start off with the actual web application and then they have a Facebook as a sort of side thing yeah. because they have to be there yeah. anyway and then they grow their following they grow their Twitter base mm -hmm. whatever yeah. but you are actually you've started on Facebook yes. what made you make that decision because it costs nothing and also it's social yeah so social is a key so we can get a, a lot of people with that cost on Facebook on global basis so that's why and how long did it take you to grow your following to millions um, we launched last March, and it took us only maybe one year. So after this year, so the growth is getting higher and higher, and we hit five million more this month. Wow, that's pretty like spectacular. What was the um, what, what was that sort of tipping point when it just skyrocketed? Because I saw also with your web app download, it's, it's been like what, 1.8 million page views about. But where did it, that happen on your Facebook profile? Um, there's no shortcut, actually. Yeah. We curate every day, twice per day. And at, at the start, it was like 1K likes, 2K fans, 3K fans. But we curate 365 days from Tokyo, yeah. the hottest and uh, you know, best anime information. So we just continuously doing that. There's no shortcut. Did you have a job while you were curating? Do, what, what do you mean? Do, I mean, did, were you working uh, full time or were you just doing this, this startup? Um, actually, it's, it's full time members as well. And in Tokyo, there are part time jobbers as well. So it's kind of combo. And some people are just, you know, gathering anime information and also just doing translating. So we have a kind of crowd of ninjas as well. Um, it's, it's That's very, the secret yeah, now. Very it's the ninjas. Yeah, yeah. Um, we gather the you know, hottest anime news in Japanese, and we upload those information on the crowd. And we have a voluntary you know, crowd of ninjas, and they are voluntarily translating those Japanese hottest news into English. So we, that's why we can curate in English. So what, what, do you, what have you done before this? I mean, were you an anime fan? You suddenly realized that this was something that you'd want to do? Actually, all the Japanese people are anime fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, all of them. Oh, yeah, seriously, seriously. How many all people, people are watching like how Dragon many? Ball. 300 million? How many people are there? Oh, in Japan? Yeah. 120 million 120. people. Yeah. Way off. All the people <laughs> are watching, including, you know, adults. Yeah. Not just teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, every people yeah. are watching anime. So there's no, you know, I don't need to have to be like a you know, prior of this job. I have to be like anime fans or I don't have yeah. to work for game companies. 
I'm just, you know, that's one of Japanese. The Japanese people are all lovers of anime. Like sushi? Yeah, like sushi, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like sushi, yes. I love sushi too. Oh, thank you. Well, we could do a sushiotakumo.com. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would. Co founder. Oh, go back. <laughs> I got a new startup. <laughs> That's great. Now, what? Where should we go if we want more information? Okay, we will launch web app, yes. and also we will also launch iOS app okay. in the future. So we will deliver this app um, maybe in two months. So please check it out, our iOS app. Great. And um, you're raising funding. Yes. How much do you need, and how much have you already? Okay, um, already we funded 500k and we need 250k more. So okay. give me money. Well, give you money. And are you going to stay in Japan? Obviously, your team's there, right? Yes, we have two teams in Mountain View and Japan. So, You're global. Yeah. Global Otaku. Yeah. Yes, high five. My favorite. Thank Thanks. All right. Well, keep on watching because we'll be talking to more exciting startups. That's so cool.